On this episode of Pimp My Gun, we'll be trying out the mag of holding on the Akimbo model 1887 aftermarket part for the Lockwood Mark II. Let's go test it out. If me saying a Kimbo model 1887s just gave you PTSD, it might be time to start looking into that prostate check. But of course we have this new aftermarket part for the Mark II carbine, the Jack Warden kit that turns this marksman rifle into a shotgun. And to be honest, I don't really know how this is gonna go. Obviously these have the reputation of being extremely OP back in the OG Modern Warfare 2, but I tried them out a little bit earlier as much as I could before my game crashed, which seems to be a theme with today. And I didn't really know what to think, but when I was using them earlier, I had slow rounds on here and it didn't seem like they were doing that great they seem pretty inconsistent at best like sometimes it was doing insane damage and other times it wasn't so right now i have a build on without slugs and then i'm gonna go into a game after this and try them with slugs but honestly this seems to be a trend going forward that a lot of these aftermarket parts don't have a whole lot of attachment slots we saw this with a bp50 aftermarket part that just came out last week where there's only a few attachment slots you could do and with this one there really isn't a whole lot i think i have two attachments on here that is not the aftermarket part i have a muzzle on here and a laser and that's basically it. Outside of those two attachments, you can only really add on ammunition and an optic for whatever reason, despite these being akimbo weapons. So we'll see if that has any effect on their performance, but let's go ahead and upgrade this to legendary and get it to pack two. And let's go ahead and throw Maggle holding on here as well. Now, how's this doing against these zombies over here? It seemed to either like not do that much damage or just one shot them to the head. The critical damage on this already looks kind of crazy. Taking them out pretty quickly. Let's stop him from healing. And me just alternating shots here, not only does it look crazy, but it looks like it does crazy damage. So far, kind of impressive. And I've seen some of your comments recently saying that any weapon is good at legendary tier and not everybody can get their hands on a legendary Aether tool, but... I don't think that's the case anymore. You'll see it when we get into tier three, but right now there's a side Easter egg that you can get a legendary Aether tool in tier three Pack-A-Punch Crystal every single time. And I don't know how long it's gonna stay like that. I don't think they like us having a, a whole lot of good things in zombies. So for the time being, I'm gonna try to stack up on as much of that as I can. But we just need to do like one more bounty and we should be able to make our way into tier three. And as much as I like this game, I don't think it's free from criticism. So I'm gonna give it its props where it's due before I start bitching and whining about it and mimic you should probably turn around here it's getting pretty foggy he's in here hot boxing the place up bro the sativa got him sleeping somehow buddy let me shoot you in the mouth please here, i'll just go up here i guess oh yeah turn around now Stop making this difficult, damn. But as for the nice things they added in this update, we did get a stash size increase, which is very, very well needed. I enjoy it a lot. It went from 10 to 20. And we also got a way to cool down our schematics a bit faster by exfilling with some cash, which is kind of cool. Like I like the idea of it, but it still kind of seems slow because I've been playing this game a lot today. And after like redeeming some of my higher cooldown acquisitions, like things like my golden armor plates or mag of holding, uh, I've played for about like nine, 10 hours today and none of them are done with their cooldown yet. And I still have like 40 hours on some of them, but they're, they did add a good chunk of content into this update. The new dark aether is a lot of fun, although it is pretty easy. But it was a challenge trying to figure out how to get all the items to open up the new Dark Aether outside of the story mission and how to upgrade the items. But once you figure it out, it's it's not too bad to get everything done. I just need to scrounge together a few pennies. I need to start looting every little cash register we see here so I can get enough money to get these up to pack three. But they're still handling themselves up here on pack two. It's a two shot kill against a fully armored zombie. The crit damage on these things is nasty. I can't wait to get these to pack three, actually. We gotta find money now. Wait a second, is there a loose change here? There is. Oh, and that's just enough, perfect. We're getting pennies out of the couch to pay for this. Oh my lanta. Right as I'm about to start praising the game is when it crashes. Let me get into the criticism. I think that might have been my seventh or my eighth crash today. That is probably my 
eighth unique operator that I've crashed with. I think I've crashed with every single operator that I have. And just a few days ago, I went and I got everything on my operators, you know, three plate vest, a large backpack, you know, self revive, a gas mask on everybody, and it's all gone. And so are my mag of holdings. So we're going to have to raw dog this. We'll see how these guns actually are. But that has to be the worst part of this update. The packet bursts have been going crazy. I've been crashing so many times. The stability of this game is just in shambles. I don't know how every single time there's an update for this game, it just almost completely breaks it. I, I don't even think sprinting and reloading worked in like Warzone for the longest time after the update. Like, I like this game a lot. Don't get me wrong. I have a lot of fun playing it, but it's always like a, a gamble to see what got fucked up with the update. It, it's almost like a, a tradition for after the update comes out to go and look at the cod update twitter account to see what bugs they're looking into fixing and i say this with no hate towards sledgehammer because i think they're probably one of the better cod developers this is just a cod thing in general but it just sucks man on top of that you can probably see that my uh foliage and just the overall the game kind of looks like shit that's because due to their recommendation they said you know just lower every all your settings and you probably won't crash as much I got everything as low as possible and we're still crashing. And I got a beefy computer, dude. And to be fair, these aren't the same crashes I was getting before. Before I would call them crashes, but it was always just the game checking for updates. So it could have just been like a battle.net issue. Now I'm getting full on crashes with a little error card that pops up. But from what I'm seeing right now, these things are definitely way better with mag of holding. Not having to worry about reloading after every few shots is huge because these things hold how many bullets i have to keep sitting here and tapping my reload because hitting it only puts in two bullets at a time it looks like it only goes to 12 while pack a punch and that is just criminally low it's got 84 in reserve but that's terrible i i, I feel like 12 is like maybe fine for i don't know multiplayer that seems a little more balanced but zombies fucking give me double that at least at minimum give me that contract too and get the fuck out of my face. And outside of all the stability stuff that I kind of just put up with because I, I like this game and I still want to see the new content that they put in through, uh, there was a little bit of issue with the new Dark Aether portal where outside of me crashing with all the, you know, items I had to go and get to actually access the Dark Aether portal, I was having an issue where I couldn't even put the stuff on the, like, slabs to activate it, where it wouldn't even let me access them. Fortunately, I just had to, like, exfil, come back, and do it again. Even though I lost a good amount of stuff going into a game like that. But it's just the little things, man. Why can't we have something that's uh, polished on release? Why we gotta wait, like, a week to use all the new content that just came out? Oh, yeah, we have to spam reload on these. Because you reload them, put them down. Reload them, put them down. Reload them, put them down. MAGA holding makes these things so much better. This is terrible. Without MAGA holding these kind of feel like a liability. I only got one self revive too, so I'm playing way safer. I just want to get this mimic killed. Maybe if I just shoot one at a time. So let's just shoot the right. Oh, if I hit reload, I reload the other one anyways. But the damage is definitely there. I would just highly recommend using these with Maggle holding or don't use them in tier three unless you like reloading. Oh, barely got him. Holy shit. Oh, look at this loot here. They're trying to butter me up after crashing me. They said, look, here's a fat loot box for you. Enjoy. And I will enjoy it. Just wish I didn't have to enjoy crashing. But with all I just mentioned, there's still some other issues that I personally didn't deal with. Like I saw some people like couldn't even unlock any of the new weapons, like their battle pass didn't work. And I saw that with people on PlayStation specifically, right when the update came out, couldn't even get on the game. So let's uh, let's tighten it up, COD. How about that? Make everybody happy. But please give me a mega abomination to test these out against. And it's another Mimic. All right, Mimic, don't attack me. I need to take three business days to reload. Let's aim or shroud at him, which you can't reload or shoot while your wand is out. I'm talking down on these weapons a lot, but they are fun to use. Just kind of annoying to use as well. You gotta put up with them. I'm hoping that this is just a bug and it'll be fixed to where you don't have to constantly tap reload to reload them, but maybe not. And somebody just like took the aggro of my bounty and it's running all the way over here and I know it's gonna come running all the way back with full health because it left its area. Who would have guessed it? It's the longest fight of my life just because of how much I have to reload. There we go. Damn, dude. Jeez. Now back to riding on the game's meat. 
This is actually a really cool feature that they added is that if you shoot all three of these sigils here when you're standing in that little triangle and then you come over to this archway, you can see that there's some lines here on the walls. And if you get to the perfect position, they line up and make a nice little triangle and this little ring of fire appears. This is a soul box and if you just fill it up, this is how you get that legendary Aether tool in that pack three crystal. So I guess crashing hasn't been as bad since I can replenish these as much as I want, but losing all my mag of holding in golden armor plates, that can't be replaced as easily. And if you're in game and you see somebody doing one of these and you want to do one for yourself, um, probably best to just wait and get out of the way because you're just going to make what they're doing last way longer. Like this guy coming over here trying to take my kills. His kills are... The kills that he's getting right now are not counting towards my soul box. And all the kills that his dog is getting outside of the circle or killing the zombies before they can get within the circle of the soul box just makes this last way, way longer. You have to wait till they're glowing purple like that. And I'm not sure on the exact number of kills you need for this, but it kind of feels like a lot. I feel like I'm, I'm here for a bit whenever I start one of these. And we finally finished it. And check this out. Not only do you get the legendary Aether tool and a pack three crystal, but you get a few thousand points. It's not a bad haul. And you can do that three times a game if you go to all three spots. So I definitely recommend doing it sooner rather than later. Because I don't know how long they're just going to stay like that. I don't know how generous they want to be. Because this is definitely causing some uh, zombies inflation. Legendary Aether Tools ain't shit anymore. Well, let's see if our pal the Stormcaller is still alive. I think one of the challenges to get this unlocked, or the new Dark Aether unlocked, is to get kills within the storm. So I think a lot of people are having run-ins with our old buddy the Stormcaller. I don't know if he's around. Stormcaller, are you here? I don't see him. All right, zombies. Y'all have a great day, you hear? So much for that. Finally, I found an abomination. We can see what these things can do against them. We broke a face pretty fast. That's that's looking good. Now, if he just gives me a little bit of time to reload, then we're in business. Let's Aether Shroud so we can stop being so hyper-aggressive. Try to light up his face a bit up close and personal. What's his health looking like? Oh, that's pretty standard for the amount of shots that we put in. I have a feeling this fight's going to go on for a little bit, but I think we can do some nice damage to him as long as we're not on the fucking ground. Don't you charge at me. Okay, there's all my bullets. You got to wait, buddy. We can't outrun his charge without stopping to reload. This is literally as fast as we can go if you want to reload and move at the same time. I just shoot a laser. Come on. There you go. See, I can smell it. I could smell it on your breath if you wanted to shoot it. There we go. Pretty low health now. But this is definitely a gun where you gotta wait till his mouth is open to start shooting at him. Those skin shots aren't gonna do enough damage. You gotta wait for his greedy ass to open wide. There you go. That's what we'd like to see, buddy. Oh, we gotta reload while he's gonna go shoot this laser. Fuck me. But uh, we kinda need to kill this guy before things get out of hand because they're already starting to. Come on, What's that, what that mouth do? There we go, and we are dead. All right, things are going great here. Let's see if anyone will revive me. Can I get a revive in E5? Bars again, please. Always make sure to use your manners, kids. <gasps> oh no, he's trying to do this with a level one Scorcher. Actually, you know what? That's kind of clean. My hero, no academia. And the Omega Bomb respawned. So uh, I'm gonna say he won that fight. I've decided that I'm not gonna use these guns without mag of holding. I'm going to tier two. I'm running up some contracts till I can get all my perks back. Then I am gonna go do the second Dark Aether till I get another mag of holding and then I'll see you guys then. All right, it only took about uh, three Dark Aether runs, but I finally got another mag of holding. Now we can finally properly take on this abomination. See what these things can actually do. Or we're not hindered by our reload. We'll throw a quick decoy. Lay the wood. And get messed up immediately. Okay. You know what? Well, that's one freebie. We gotta take this disciple out too so we don't get healed. Ooh, you know what? Two freebies. I'm feeling uh, generous. How many self revives do I have? Let's not get too generous. I got one more. I got one more in me. Aether Shroud. And he did heal. Come on. He had a nut hair of health left. Ooh, broke his face immediately as he went for that laser. You really gotta do some crowd control here, though. These zombies need to go. And there's another disciple. 
Where do you guys keep coming from? They're just here to piss me off, I think. Uh-oh, now we're out of ammo. Awesome. Thermite. Zombies draw me ammo now. There's two disciples. Awesome. Even better. The more the merrier, I say. You know what? Cashmere. This is getting a little out of hand. Disciples, be gone. Come on. There we go. He's dead. All right. Now, Mimic, it's your turn. Time to go night-night. There you go. Okay. Now it's just me and you, Abomination. No more friends. Just a, a nice 1v1. I get to beat the brakes off you. Ooh, that's another face broken. This gun has such a satisfying animation, especially with the Maggle holding. Constantly just spinning the guns and shooting them is sick. What if we alternate our shots slightly? Ooh, and he's going to go. Nope, nope, nope. Hold on. There we go. Okay, it took a little bit longer than I thought it would, but you know what? We took him down. That's what matters. Can these survive the new Elder Sigil? I am a little bit scared, but we're just going to hop right in and see what happens. Now, this one is a little bit different from some of the Elder Sigils we've seen in the past. Uh, there is no bunnies floating around to tell us where the contracts are. We actually have these beacons in the air. And the first one I'm going to go to, if our textures load in, please game. But well, we're going to this one on the far right. And I've only done this Elder Sigil once, and I barely made it out by the skin on my nuts. And I only got got one schematic from it, which was the gas mask schematic. I think I might have gotten the other one, like for the dead bull detonators, but I might have dropped it. So I'm here to get the rest of our schematics and make it out of here. And the reason why we're going for this one first is because this is an escort contract. Now, it's a little bit different from some of the escort contracts we've seen in the past. Also, we get a little thumbs up right there. The Atomic Hunter thumbs up. I'm not 100% positive on what those do, but I'm almost sure that there's a boss fight that you can do in the middle of this Dark Aether, and you might need all these uh, body parts for it. Holy shit, that's a lot of zombies. And you get one body part per contract here. And for whatever reason, the oranges or the reds in this are like just super orange. The hue is just a bit different here in the Dark Aether. It don't bother me, but it's just something I noticed. Oh, is that a nuke? We need that desperately already. Let's start this up. But the different thing about this escort contract compared to other ones is that this has four stops in it instead of just the normal three. So we got to protect it for extra long, which I don't know if we can do, but you know, we're going to sure as hell try. Another nuke. Give me that. Uh, we're going to need a Kazmir here. Let all the zombies get sucked up. Another nuke. Dude, they're blessing me with these nukes. This is like the ultimate RNG run. We need another cashmere, though. I don't think there's any way we can defend this standing still without one. And let's throw in a monkey bomb for good measure. So that's one stop out of four. Not doing bad so far, but we've already used two cashmeres. And we only got two more left, so we need to start rationing. Or these zombies need to start dropping some more. Nope, another nuke. Maybe it's supposed to drop this many nukes. We got to time these bad boys out. I've seen some enemies that like glow green, almost like the power up glow, but I haven't seen them drop power ups every time I've killed one of those enemies. So we got to keep a lookout. Maybe we can uh, find a strategy to this. We got to throw another monkey bomb. Please go down. Oh shit. I have no ammo. Let's throw a thermite in here. Try to pick up some ammo. And there is 80 manglers right here. We need another cashmere now. We went from 90 to 60% within seconds. 50%. Let's keep it moving. At least we don't got to fight an abomination. At least not right now. Oh, 39%. It's not looking good. Oh, I'm thinking about just saving these cashmeres. Because we have two more stops to go. And these guys are relentless. This is a very unforgiving escort contract. Tell you what. They don't give you no chances. I mean, besides all those nukes it's dropping. Uh, do we use this last cashmere? I think we do. We have to. We got to go for it. Because there's a chance it could drop a nuke after this cashmere. Right here, this mimic is glowing green. Like power up green. Did he drop it? He did. Okay, we might be on to something with that. Okay, one more. We got some decoys. I don't see any other like cashmere's on the ground or monkey bombs or nothing. But if we can somehow pull this off, it'll be a miracle. We got to hold it for this entire stop here. And we have to let it launch. Oh, this disciple's got a nuke in him. Oh, of course. We brain rotted him. Okay, decoy going out. We got to keep an eye on our brain rotted disciple here. Please die. 
Because I am out of ammo and our ACV is destroyed. Damn. That was bad. That was really bad. And we only got eight minutes left. That killed half of our time. We even make it through. Oh, uh, we need to find an ammo cache too. Bars. Oh, here it is. Sweet. And I don't remember what this one is, but let's just activate it. Ooh. Get knocked out. That's what we like to do here. And we got to pick that up for the next contract. It's a mega bomb. Kind of scary. We might just have to use our jug for this. I brought it in here for emergencies. This seems like an emergency. Kill streak cannot be used right now. Are you kidding me? Um, We can't use these here. Hello? Or a decoy. Let's see if we can get a few shots in here. Nice. We broke his face just in time right before we went down. Perfect. Let's throw a thermite on all these zombies on the decoy. Oh, shit. If we can complete one contract in the Dark Aether, it'll be glorious. Why is he glowing yellow all around him? I, there's a lot of stuff about this Dark Aether that I do not understand. Like how to beat it, for one. I do see another green enemy, though. Insta-kill and a nuke. Perfect. That's what we like to see. We'll hit a little Aether Shroud here. We get some good damage on him. There you go. That's what we like to see. Perfect with the insta-kill. Insta-kill is actually so clutch. We really need to prioritize all of those elites that are glowing green. Or there's no way out of this. Got him. Okay. Please give me the schematic for the deadbolt thing. Oh, okay, cool. We got a beret. Uh, you know what? I'll throw that on. I don't even know what that does. Do we get a little merc buddy? Oh, we do. Look at him drop in like a little paratrooper. But we have uh, five minutes to do the next contract and leave. We got to go now. Mimic, what did I just say? We got to leave. Where is the last beacon? The beacon of hope. Probably going to end up being the beacon of pain. This is definitely the hardest Dark Aether yet. This is like such a, a stark contrast to what the story mission was for this. Because you just had to fight like a little disciple that was like the easiest boss fight of my life. This, however, trying to do like the entire Dark Aether and the optional boss fight at the end, if you can get all the stuff for it, seems impossible to me, at least with these. And I need to start this last one up. Disguise destroyed. What? That fast? I was only on for a second. Let's activate the seal. Pretty sure this last one is an outlast, which is going to be tough to start up. Especially since I don't have the inventory space. I guess I'll drop a self revive for a second. We can pick that one back up once we go down again. Oh, we got a little speed boost with that foot. Oh, okay. So these are like power ups. I don't know what the yellow does. It just outlines them. But for why? I think we are doing this in like the best order possible because our outlast or our, our X fill is just on the other side of this dam here, right in the middle of the map. I was panicking trying to leave when we were trying to figure this out on stream. Everyone in the chat was yelling at me of where it was and I could not get there. If we can just at least get out of here with maybe our last schematic, I'll be happy. Ooh, one nuke, hit it. We have a decoy as well. Um, I'll throw that. I think I saw a monkey bomb on the ground somewhere. Maybe not. What is this? The BAL-27? Wow, they're dropping us the new gun. Maybe I didn't see a monkey bomb. Maybe I'm hallucinating. But I do see a mangler that's got a nuke in him. That's perfect. So it's got to be what? The head? Aim high to make your ammo shine. Makes you run at shivering speed, showing annihilating energy. We must have missed the other one. There's four of them. But we completed this. What do we get out of it? Another beret. Throw that bad boy on be fashionable on our way out of here and zombies if you could please let me get to my loot i would be grateful thank you um okay well maybe they shouldn't have because that's ass loot they're trying to help me out all right now to get out of here before something bad happens we gotta leave now we just go over here up on down oh shit i did not fly anywhere far enough but they got these little spores here i don't know how to start this though if we were to do it there's got to be an area where I can get those uh, Ethereum blockers or whatever. Whatever destroys those. Maybe we'll have to bring them in from a spore contract. But either way, we only got a minute left. I'm getting out of here. Bren, have fun on the Dark Aether, pal. Hope you enjoy your stay. So I'm leaving. <sighs> well, we got two contracts done. That was extremely difficult. And we crashed on Xfil. It didn't say successful Xfil, did it? It just said Rift Complete. So hopefully we kept our stuff. Because if we crashed right there and lost everything, I'm gonna fucking lose it. Damn, game. Did we keep our stuff? Oh, thank God. Did I get the new schematics, though? Uh, yeah, I did. Okay, cool. 
I just am uh, missing the beret. And just so we cover all of our bases, now let's just do a quick run with slugs to see if there's any difference in damage. I have the build the exact same way. It's just now that we got a different ammo type in here. And unfortunately, I don't have another mag of holding, so we're gonna have to bear with a speed cola reload on this, but we can still see how much damage it does. And that's not a whole lot with these being pack three and legendary tier. But it seems like if you can actually nail the headshot, like the very small middle dot, it's almost like a one-shot kill. But anywhere between that, don't seem like it do a whole lot. And while we're in the area, we might as well replenish a quick little legendary aether tool. Oh, wait, I think I'm starting to see the method for using these without Maggle holding. You shoot one twice, then the other twice. Bam, 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 bam. Alternate between those two. And you might be all right. Oh, shit. Oof. Emphasis on might. It's weird how, like, drastically different they are. And it's not like you can really use Deadshot to, like, make it better, because these are akimbo. It helps with, like, the, the hip fire accuracy with having Deadshot on, but even if I was playing on controller, it's not like this is going to lock to heads. It just don't work that way. Like, you really can't spam these. You need to be patient. Take that extra second and just line that shot up. But the crit damage is insane. It's like a two-shot kill on any of these zombies, regardless of their armor type. Like fully armored, bam, bam, gone. No armor, bam, bam, gone. There we go. All on a day's work. And we crashed once a fucking again, dude. Actually, this one's a checking for update. <sighs> well, at least we saw what kind of damage this can do. I wanted to fight an abomination with it, but that's three crashes within how many games of just this recording? That's... Double digit crashes today is ridiculous. So I'm gonna go ahead and end it there. Uh, if you guys wanna use these weapons, I definitely recommend using MAGA holding. Otherwise, it's gonna be pretty frustrating to use it in anything above tier two. And as for the content here in season three reloaded, it's pretty good if you can actually get the fucking game to work. But unfortunately for me, it doesn't seem to wanna work today. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna cut it here before I get pissed. So thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I will see you in the next 